background there, Gabby. It's going to be a, a challenging session for the Archers. Yeah, it's indeed going to be a challenging session for them. Thank you for um, inviting me. I'm happy to be joining you guys here in this um, archery evening. I'm like super excited to see how the archers are going to manage the wind and then their nerves, uh, of course. Well, good to see some sunshine too with the rain that was forecast so far hasn't arrived and uh, fingers crossed it remains that way. As the archers come out now for the recurve bronze medal match in the under 18 age category and we have the archers from India, from Italy rather, and China competing here. The Italians losing to Japan 6-2 in their semi-final and the Chinese to the Americans by the same score. So we have Flavia Trabucu and Riccardo Alfano. And Chu Jingyi and Chi Jingyuan are the two archers, the 16 year olds. Chinese uh, beating Australia, Poland, as I touched on, losing to the United States in the semi-finals. And the Italians had a win over Spain in the 1-8 elimination. That went to a shoot-off, which they won 16-15, and then they beat France, the top qualifier in the quarterfinals. And J Japan they lost to in the semi-finals. So the Italians knocking up the top seeds, France, on their way to this bronze medal match. So the under 18s are shooting from 60 meters. When we get the, to the under 21s, they will be shooting from the full 70 meters. This is Riccardo Alfano to start for the Italians. Oh, wow. That was almost dead center. First arrow. Brilliant there from Alfano. Yeah, that's definitely going to give them some uh, confidence. And Trabuco only just missing the 10 as well. Great start here for these two. Alfano 17 and Trapuco, only 15 years old. Eight. And both the Chinese are touched on 16 years old in this under 18 age category. The Italians have both medaled on the European Youth Cup circuit this year. And that's a great arrow there from Ju. It almost looks the like their wind is not affecting them. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. It's uh, that's incredible to believe, especially that first arrow from Alfano, Gabby. That was amazing. Yeah, yeah. And now, like complementing his first shot with an eight, like that's also not a bad score. Well, I guess they cancel each other out, don't they? In a way. Now, last arrow here for Trabuco. And it's going to be just a six. So a bit of a mixed bag there from the Italians. They're going to lock in a score of 33 in this first set. Which means China have a big chance here to, to take the two set points. So just a seven required here from Ju or higher to win the first set. But remember... Those windy conditions here. Wind up to around 30 k's an hour. But that will be good enough for China to win the first two set points by a score of 36 to 33. Solid stuff from the Chinese there, Gabby. Yeah, it was indeed like a really good start for them. You could definitely see that there's um, a wind that is pushing the arrows a little bit to the left. 
Um, I'm pretty sure that the coaches and the archers are going to be communicating about what's happening. Um, I think it's, it's really good shooting so far. So what's your thought process when you come to the shooting line and it's a windy day, Gabby? What, what's going through your head? Well, I think that it's a little bit different than uh, like shooting individual. And for example, today that we're shooting mixed team, you have then less time to think about what you're going to do, you know, because you're only shooting two arrows at a time and you also are taking uh, breaks between the arrows. So I think that the only thing you can do is like take your first arrow as reference and then later on just um, try to make good shots and don't think of a lot about the conditions because if you focus a lot in the conditions, um, yeah, your mind is going to get a little bit crazy, you know? Well, there's some good advice right there if you're listening in and you're uh, in this age group. Just don't overthink things. Yes, I, th I think that's a very good advice on anything in life. The moment you start complicating and overthinking things is when you get into trouble sometimes. Yeah, of course. That, th I think that that applies in everything in life. So here's Alfano, the Italian. Eight. He started with that brilliant first arrow, and he's a starts with an eight in the second set. So, it'll be interesting to see the how the judges go with that one. Did the grab a little bit of the nine line? You'll have to wait and see. And she goes a little low that time. The wind really getting up for her. It's coming across her left shoulder. So from right to left as we look at her from that shot there. Good stuff from her. She held her nerve nicely there. Yeah, that's uh, indeed amazing shooting. On the Italian side, you see uh, one of the coaches, she's um, one of my friends. Uh, she used to shoot uh, when I was, um, well, she used to shoot like a couple of years ago. Um, she's an amazing shooter. She also made the World Cup final in, in 2017. Um, she's like really, really good. And I'm pretty sure she's gonna give really good advice to the archers and they're gonna try their best and like shoot their arrows in the middle like she just did. <laughs> Well, great arrow there from Trabuco. That was much needed by the Italians that only scored eight, eight and seven prior to that last arrow. A chance for the Chinese to take a more of a stranglehold on this match. So here's the last arrow of this end and a 10 from Shu will seal it. Easier said than done though. Oh, no, she has it. She has it. Big clutch arrow there from Ji Jingyi. And China have got the second set as well. Fantastic stuff from her, Gabby. Yeah, like, she's shooting amazing. Like, um, I feel like uh, when you communicate where you're um, aiming at and where you're, when you're, like, um, yeah, like, pretty confident that the spot that you're aiming at is really good. Uh, like, you can give that um, information to your um, to your teammates, and you guys can, like, for example, if I shoot an 8, maybe you can make it up with a 10, and, and yeah, it's just, like, teamwork, you know? Yeah, absolutely. So, looks like uh, they've got that set by a point, 35 to 34. It's a little bit of a question mark on the second arrow from the Italians, Alfano's first one, which uh, was an eight star, but that was a brilliant arrow from from Shu at the end there, and the Chinese team have been solid so far. 
You can see the conditions are getting a little bit more difficult um, to shoot uh, with. I feel like um, looks like it's started raining a little bit. I don't know. You can also see on the Chinese side that like one of the archers have like a, a spare bow, and the other one just have like spare limbs. I don't know if you can see it on the uh, on yeah on the image. It's funny to see. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the beauty of the set system in recurve archery is still a chance here for the Italians, even though they're down four set points to nil. But they now need to at least tie the set to stay alive in the match. Ricardo Alfano. He was brilliant in qualification too in the individual competition. Finished fourth. It's a very high ranking for him. Starts off the stadium with a seven. So 16 for the Italians off the first rotation. The Chinese can end this match by winning the set. That's what they're aiming to do now is G Jingyuan. Schools and ideas. It's a tough day for these archers. Remember, these archers are young. They're only aging or from 15 to 17 in age. Nine. That's exactly what the Chinese needed. Chu is shooting well now, scoring well, and the Chinese have a one point advantage as they look to sweep the Italians in this bronze medal match in this set. Fano's disappointed. You can see it all over his face. Trabuco. Determined to get another 10. Not to be this time. Uh, you can see that the grouping from the Italians went a little bit to the left. Um, I think the conditions uh, are like really, really difficult to shoot with. Um, let's see what China can do. Yeah, well, they can win the match here, Gabby. Oh, yes. There's a 10 there from G. So just, yeah, just a six or higher required here from Zhu to win the bronze medal. Wow. And she's come within a whisker of scoring another 10, but it's just a nine, but it'll be enough. So China, it is a very comfortable winner in the end for G Jingyi and G Jingyuan. Very good effort from them. China. And they are going to win this match by six set points to nil and win the bronze medal. Yeah, like I also okay. think that Italy, I'm sorry. I also think that Italy cannot be disappointed by uh, what they did. Like they made it all through the bronze medal match. And you know, like the nerves can get a little bit into you when you're there, especially when you're really young and inexperienced. But I'm pretty sure that they. this is something that they're going to take uh, through the week and probably we will see them shooting in the gold medal match or like in one of the matches later on team or individual. That's That was really good shooting from both of them. Yeah, we look forward to seeing a bit more of them a bit later. But well done to those Chinese archers. They were excellent in that match in these blustery conditions, beating the Italians by six set points to nil.